12 unusual foods you need to eat in your lifetime. There are a lot of different foods from around the world, but it's a shame that we won't be able to eat most of them in our lifetime. Considering foods are influenced by local culture and environment, there are times when food that comes out of a certain region might be, well, unusual. But that is the beauty of culinary traditions in the global scale. People experiment, and sometimes they come out great. That's very tasty. Care to find out? Here are 12 unusual foods that you need to eat in your lifetime and should be added to your bucket list. Hold on a minute, before we start, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Here we go! Number 12. Grilled Ostrich That's right, grilled ostrich. Imagine searing the largest bird in the world on your grill. This would earn you some serious bragging rights with your barbecue gang. It might be surprising, but a lot of chefs around the world are trying their hand at this bird meat. They are known to be equally delicious as they are healthy. In fact, the fat ratio for ostrich meat is way less than your regular chicken or turkey meat. So basically, you're consuming massive amounts of lean protein minus the guilt of all the fat usually found in red meat. They're also packed with iron. If that isn't enough, ostrich meat is low in pH levels, making them harder to be infected with bacteria like E. coli and salmonella. Sounds like a great deal to me, if only ostrich meat was widely available. Number 11. Lejeskavica There's nothing that comes close to the satisfaction that you get from seeing a patty of ground meat sizzling over a grill. The Serbians know this, which is why they love their Lejeskavica, or also known as the Serbian hamburger. How is it different from your regular burger patties? Well, for a start, the patty is a combination of beef, pork and lamb, probably ticking off all your checklists if you're a meat lover seasoned with a variety of herbs as well as onion and garlic. The meat-to-fat ratio is also very important. Its preparation requires the patty to be flattened by clapping them. Clapping is called plejesa in the local language, hence the name plejeskavica. When this juicy patty is cooked to perfection, it's served with a flatbread called lepinja and generously lathered with kaimak, a local cream cheese. I think I'm sold. Where can I have one? Number 10. Miso Ramen Japan sure knows how to present their food right. Miso ramen is one spectacularly delicious and spectacularly presented dish from the land of the rising sun. Just look at this colorful display with all the different toppings. The sliced boiled eggs look divine. Miso ramen is made with a broth infused with miso base and for few veggies. After the base broth is soaked with noodles and topped with a variety of different veggies and meats, it can include pieces of succulent pork, sweet corn, beans, mushrooms, tofu and much more. It's said that miso ramen came to be because of a diner who asked the chef to add his noodles to a bowl of miso soup and pork. This combination worked very well, and since then captured the taste buds of countless Japanese and people around the world. If you ever go to Japan, miso ramen should be on top of your list of things to try. Number 9. Eshpatada If you enjoy shish kebab, then you'll definitely enjoy eshpatada. A traditional Portuguese dish, this skewered meat preparation has become extremely popular on the island of Madeira. Eshpatada usually uses beef or pork, but in recent years they've started using chicken and turkey as well. The meat, before being grilled, is cut into cubes and seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic and bay leaf. The meat is then skewered using bay laurel skewers and grilled over hot coals. It's usually had with bolo de sasso, a type of circular flatbread. All this sounds extremely delicious. The final meal is served hanging from this skewer, while the melted fat from the meat slowly coats the plate of bread. Madeira, here I come! Number 8. Pork Bun Nikuman There are some foods which are very hard to put down. You think maybe you'll have one, and then call it a day, but it becomes two, and two becomes four. Well, the pork Nikuman does exactly that. Inspired by the Chinese baozi or bao, this Japanese version is incredibly delicious. They're soft and juicy and filled with cooked ground pork, veggies and seasoned with soy sauce and spices. They're also a lot healthier than fried alternatives, since nikoman is always steamed. They are the go-to street food in Japan during the winter months until the beginning of April. Just look at these amazing dumplings ready to be eaten. If you get the craving for these delectable pork buns, a lot of convenience stores around Japan sell them and serve them hot. Number 7. Haggis 
Probably not an appealing name for a dish to be added on our bucket list, haggis is a traditional Scottish delicacy. So what is it made of? Well, don't judge it yet, but haggis is a savoury pudding made with the sheep's minced organs, like its heart, liver, lungs, etc., and mixed with onions, oatmeal, spices, and suet. Sound appealing yet? Probably not. It used to be encased in the sheep's stomach, but these days they use artificial casings to do the job. That sounds a lot better, I guess. Though describing what goes into a haggis is far from appealing, you would be surprised that this Scottish dish is well-loved and has a nutty and savoury flavour profile. The haggis is often enjoyed during Robert Burns' day, who wrote the poem Address to a Haggis, which talks about his appreciation for this specialty. Sounds like the Scots love their haggis, but no haggis is complete without a side of neeps and tatties, aka turnips and potatoes. It couldn't get any more Scottish than that. Think you'll ever have this dish? Let us know in the comments. Number 6. Periwinkles No, not the plant. These are a species of whelk or sea snail. If you're familiar with the idea of eating snails, or escargot as they're called in France, sea snails are not that big of a stretch. These snails are mostly caught by hand off the rocks or using a drag from a boat and are widely consumed in the coastal regions of Scotland, England, Wales and Ireland. They are probably not the best food to have when you're super hungry since it takes some effort to eat them, as you can see here, but add in some butter to the mix and it's worth your time. They're also known to have tannins, which can reduce inflammation in the body. They're also considered as a delicacy in African and Asian cuisines and are high in protein, omega-3 fatty acids and low in fat. Sounds good enough to try. Number 5. Biltong Now for a specialty originating from the southern African countries. Biltong is a type of dried meat which can range from your regular beef meat to game meats like ostrich and kudu. If you haven't had one, it can be compared to a beef jerky, but the taste and method of preparation is different. When making biltong, they use apple cider vinegar or malt vinegar for marinating the meat. The vinegar solution is later removed and the meat is seasoned with various spices like coriander and black pepper. Biting into one will let you know that it's quite distinct from beef jerky, for it lacks the smoky flavour, since biltong is never smoked. Smoked or not, this dish looks great. Number 4. Deep Fried Rattlesnake OK, you need a strong stomach for this one. Literally. Deep Fried Rattlesnake is a real thing, and it's being served around the southwest of the United States. Though our gut reaction is to run away from these slithering predators, the deep-fried rattlesnake is quite the specialty and surprisingly delicious. Fans of this dish say that it tastes similar to popcorn chicken, but with a twist. That's probably the best endorsement anyone could give about an exotic food. I mean, who doesn't like popcorn chicken? It's also said that a rattlesnake tastes a lot better once barbecued since apparently it brings out the flavour better. I guess we'll have to take their word for it and add this one to the bucket list. Number 3. Halo Halo what do Filipinos do to beat the summer heat? They indulge in this extravagant dessert called halo halo. Sounds like an enthusiastic way to greet someone. Halo halo basically means mix mix in the Filipino language. It's a mix of a ton of goodies. Where do I even start? A typical halo halo contains crushed ice, evaporated milk, purple yam, sweetened beans, coconut strips, sago, agar, flattened rice, fruit slices, flan, and all this is topped with a scoop of ice cream. That's not even the entire ingredient list, but one thing is for sure, this dessert seems to have the best of everything. A trip to the Philippines is in order, and Halo Halo is on the top of the list of things to try there. Number 2. Rocky Mountain Oysters This one might seem like a misnomer, but that's what they are called in the Rocky Mountains in the US. And no, they're not oysters, as the name claims to be, but actually, bull testicles. You heard it right, fried bull testicles. The word fried usually goes well with almost any food, but I'm not so sure about this one. The testicles are skinned, floured, seasoned with pepper and salt, then deep fried. It's said to have a chewy texture, but that doesn't make it sound any more appetizing. Not surprisingly, they're often served in parts of Canada where cattle ranching and castration of male animals are common. If you're interested to have these Rocky Mountain oysters, they're usually served at festivals or at specialty eating establishments and bars. Think you're up for it? Number 1. Street Food in Mumbai Indian food is appreciated worldwide for being flavorful and rich, but even the connoisseurs would be surprised to know about these unique Indian dishes. For example, street food which serves goat hearts and their brains. Surprising, right? Brains are often cooked up and almost have an egg-like consistency. 
They also serve buffalo milk and it's used in making desserts. Buffalo milk is also known to be healthier than cow's milk because of their higher nutritional value. So a dessert which is both delicious and healthy? Sign me up. But if you're a hamburger kind of foodie, India serves them too, but with a unique twist. Instead of meat patty, they swap it with a large mashed fried potato served with veggies and chili. If you have to choose one out of the 12 unusual foods, which one would you pick and why? Let us know in the comments and while you're at it, be sure to hit like, share and subscribe. Catch you next time.